J.K. Kawa here, jumping into a brand new show. Limited series that just popped up on Netflix. The woman in the house across the street from the girl in the window. It's an excellent title. Yeah, I'm going into this pretty blind. I, I saw it on Netflix. It's got Kristen Bell. She's freaking amazing. Everything she's done, I've really, really liked. And it seems like a parody kind of thing. Like, uh, the trailer very much hinted it was more or less a parody of, you know, mystery shows, Desperate Housewives, and also, like, Hitchcock, in a way, Rear Window. I mean, the, the title kind of, kind of, it's pretty much Rear Window, you know. You see something happen in your window. So, I, I don't really know what to expect from it, other than it being a dark comedy. I don't know. Basically, all I know is from the trailers that, you know, she's kind of a wino, seems like. She drinks a lot of wine and uh, makes a lot of accusations, it seems like, maybe. But, I mean, that's, you know, the, the premise. So, I'm excited to see what it's all about. No episode titles, so the premiere is called Episode 1. I, I, that was kind of disappointing. I like making those little graphics that show the title, but I'm okay with it. Yeah, Kristen Bell. Let's see what we got. Here we go. Chicken. Cream of mushroom. Mm, that could work. Weird. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. My husband used to tell me that I have an overactive imagination, that I drink too much. She's not British on the show, is she? Plans and cancel them. Hold on. But sometimes I speak with a British accent, even though I'm not British. Yeah! What? He's right. About all of it. Elizabeth? Oh. Honey, we're gonna be late for school! Oh, no. Anna. Hi, Carol. How are you? Good. Morning got away from me. Right. Mark said you never called him back to confirm. For the day tonight? Yeah, I don't... It's been three years. At some point... You gotta move on, right? I know I have to, I just push that I don't people. know how. Has the mailbox coming, Buell? It's coming, Miss Anna. She's a tricky one, but we're getting there, don't you worry. Oh my. <laughs> how do I look? You think Carol would approve? I know. Can you at least give me a kiss before I go? I can't. Why not? Because I'm dead. Wait, what? How do I keep forgetting that? Oh my. All right. All right, so their daughter is actually dead. Interesting. What's that? I don't care about that. Go back up. Oh, actually, he's got another scar. These are for you. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, they're not, um, they're not for me. Right. They were delivered a while ago, they were just sitting out in the sun, so. I'm Neil. Um, we just moved in across the street. Did you? Huh. Um, I'm Anna. Oh, we have new neighbors. <laughs> Dad and a little girl. She's about your age. Or the age you were. Nine. Oh. You must be my new neighbor. I'm Anna. My name's Emma. So, how are you liking your new house? My dad says the kitchen's too small. Is that so? It's always too small. Your dad a good cook? Not as good as my mom was. Was? She died. I am going to bring you a yummy chicken casserole for dinner tonight. Really? Mm -hmm. No! <sighs> what, what is with that? How do I keep forgetting that? Yeah, what's, what, what is happening? Bunch of mystery elements, huh? Okay. Lumberphobia. Fear of the rain. Oh. She drowned. 
Mm. My daughter died three years ago. Wait, you painted those? Mm-hmm. Wow. Haven't painted in a long time. Yeah. Well, grief can really derail things. Yeah. This is totally unsolicited advice. I think you should paint again. You're too good. So is this where she died? Is that why you're so nervous about the attic? Some horror elements to this. Fantasy coming. Fantasy coming. Back to her chair. You know, foreplay's okay, people, right? Like, it's okay to, like, not jump straight from kissing to penetration. Even in your fantasy. Fa it was your fantasy. Why doesn't he go down on you in your fantasy? Hi, Anna. Hi. Oh, Jenny, you brought us another casserole. No, we're having dinner. Oh, I saw that this one had been delivered and it was just sitting out in the sun. <laughs> Would you like to eat with us? Do you want to stay and join us? Yes. Oh. Anna is an artist. Can I show you drawing I did? Yes, please. Wow. Emma, this is fabulous. Thanks. Ducks are my favorite animal. You've got a good one up there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty lucky. You know, I think that was already there. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's okay. There's a theme going on here with casserole dishes. Oh dear god, just kiss. I should probably get going in. Well, thank you. By the way, have we seen that dude and his daughter with anyone else yet? Technically, we have not. A future where I can trust someone again. <laughs> no, 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 like that. Oh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> so far, it very much seems like it's a parody of just every trope. Like, you know, like every trope, it, like of romantic comedies, of mysteries, of horror. Like, you know, there's something in the attic. We don't know what it is. Oh, it was brushed against his hand. There's something there. Oh, like, we'll see where it goes, but there's a lot of, like, there's a, obviously there's a lot of ground to cover. So obviously we didn't know that her daughter was dead at the beginning of the show. And it makes way more sense the reaction she got from the other moms while she was just standing outside the school in a bathroom. I figure it was just, you know, because she's in a bathroom. No, it's because her daughter's dead. She has no reason to be at the school. And that's, mm. Obviously, we don't know why her and her husband split. It's going to have to do something to do with how their daughter died or just the fact that their daughter died. Like, I've, I, there's some statistic, like, parents that lose a child are, like, 80% divorce rate. It's way up there. And I completely understand. Like, how could you even, like, look at the person again and not have instant heart-wrenching grief and it's not that person's fault usually I'm guessing might be in this we don't know yet but I completely get that like that would be hard to recover from but apparently she's a former painter well-known one or at least well selling one or something uh, she's you know drinks a lot of wine nothing wrong with that most of the women I enjoy are drunk but yeah there's a lot that could be really fun like it, it it seems like it's gonna be a lot of fun so i'm looking forward to it yeah thank you guys for watching comments 
Let me know what you thought of this one. We'll jump into episode two here momentarily. We're going to do two a week until we're caught up. And I believe that'll be Tuesdays. I think that's what I put them on the schedule. I don't remember. But yeah, we'll do two weeks. Only eight episodes, so it won't take that long. But it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be some dark humor. Like there's, there's, like I said, there's those horror elements, uh, mystery. Like that's going to run the gamut. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you. And we'll talk to you next time.